Kennedy. Mr. Wright, do you do you uh, do you know a company by the name of U.S. Forensic? Um, I am aware of the company. Uh, I believe they got in a little bit of trouble representing some of the companies in uh, after Hurricane Sandy. Is that correct? That is correct. What what, what was that trouble? Um, and so they. Um, uh, were involved in some of the cases where engineering reports were required after the event. Um, and some of their work uh, was sloppy at best um, or dead wrong at worst. They altered some reports, didn't they? Uh, that is my understanding. Okay. And they were uh, sanctioned by a federal judge, is that correct? Um, so there were a couple of companies from the engineering space that were involved in this, uh, given some things that played out with um, with this, uh, there were some sanctions that were done. What we have done is collaborate with the attorneys general in both uh, New York and New Jersey, New Jersey as well as uh, with the Department of Homeland Security's invest, uh, inspector general. Uh, those are the folks who have the authorities and powers uh, to follow through on those questions. Uh, I would highlight that one of the companies, not the one you're mentioning now, um, was convicted uh, given some work um, by the um, well, you're familiar with the flooding we had in March and April of last year in Louisiana. I know very much very so, familiar. Why is U.S. Forensic still doing engineering work now in Louisiana? So I cannot prohibit the use of a company uh, unless we have gone through a complete debarment process. Uh, the convicted company has been debarred. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, I, that's the collaboration that we are doing with the Inspector General. What I can do and have done is fundamentally change the quality control of all of the uh, work that is done by engineers um, so that as the various companies are involved in it, I can be assured of the outcomes. Well, the, the federal judge in, uh, in New Jersey <laughs> accuse this particular firm, these, these, are the, these are the judge's words, not mine, of reprehensible gamesmanship. That's not enough to get you off the list? Uh, based on that, we worked uh, and are continuing to supply information to the state's attorney general in New York and New Jersey uh, who have the law enforcement capabilities to take actions against them. Okay. Are you familiar with an attorney by the name of Gerald Nielsen? I am. Um, I believe he had some difficulties in representing some clients after Hurricane Sandy, too, did he not? That is my understanding. Could you tell me about that? Uh, so I've never met Mr. Nielsen. My understanding uh, is that he is employed by some of the Write Your Own companies uh, to represent them uh, in litigation. His firm that he, he was representing was sanctioned a million dollars? for violating discovery orders after, in litigation after Hurricane Sandy, is that right? Uh, I'm not aware of the specifics related to sanctions related to him. Okay, you're not familiar at all with that? Uh, you, you listed a dollar value, I'm not, I'm not aware. I understand um, that he um, was called into account by a judge, uh, and based on this, I'll tell you that more holistically, uh, not just that action, um, I have looked at and continue to collaborate with the Inspector General to look holistically at the actions of these uh, lawyers. Well, he, he, he's still representing the WYO companies, is he not? Uh, my understanding is there are write-your-own companies who still uh, use him, yes. And why is that? So uh, they have choices to use um, um, lawyers. Um, they have, as they do that process, um, again, this goes back to the engineering side, if uh, a lawyer has been uh, debarred or disbarred, um, then I can prohibit their use. What I can do and did roll out last summer was fundamental changes to how we oversee um, all of the litigation work that is done. And so while I don't get to choose the lawyers, um, I do get to um, influence and ultimately direct the litigation strategy about when we should pursue that in court and when we should um, step back and says the right thing to do is settle on this case. Yeah. Well, I, I, I understand. If I understand your testimony, you, you don't do anything unless somebody's disbarred, if they're an attorney or if they're an engineer, unless they're what? I change the I can change the quality standards. I can hold them to those from a control perspective. The ultimate selection of those is left to the right your own companies unless they have been debarred. 
and you don't have any influence whatsoever, you can't pick up these, the phone and call these companies and go, hey, we've got some problems here? Yeah. Sir, I think the companies um, know my opinion um, of these various actors, um, the kind of um, open questions that, that, given their actions that brought on questions of the credibility of the program. Uh, I've spoken very plainly about that. Uh, but again, sir, um, folks have rights um, to due process, and um, I don't have the ability single-handedly um, to remove any one player. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.